Coming soon, small steps seeking big gains for pH stone industry. Manila, Philippine baby steps are better than no movement at all. Said independent filmmaker Paolo de la Luna, who is also president of the Directors Guild of the Philippines Incorporated. Hi. There is still much work to be done to promote the interests of the members of the local entertainment industry, de la Luna told the Inquirer. But he acknowledged when baby steps. Memorandum Circular No. 2019-01, for the policies and guidelines on the theatrical release of films in Philippine cinemas. The memorandum, to be implemented starting in the second week of July, which is the opening day of both local and foreign films from Wednesday to Friday in order to draw more novelers during the weekend. Currently, movies with low audience turnout often get pulled out of theaters before the weekend, or just when more people are available to watch. Felipe Dino, Chair of the Film, Development Council of the Philippines, describes the memorandum as the culmination of the efforts to strengthen industry practices and level the playing field for all our stakeholders from film producers to distributors to exhibitors, and even audiences through the transparent and fair set of guidelines left square bracket governing right, square bracket the screening of films and commercial theaters. The memorandum pegs a minimum run of seven days for every movie booked for release, as well as a cinema assignment guarantee for the first three days, Friday to Sunday, to prevent movie pullout, except in extreme cases, such as zeros less than the expected turnout of audience during screening. It assigns full screens for movies for three days of exhibition, as opposed to screen splitting, or sliding, wherein two movies share one cinema, and have alternating screening schedules within the day. Lower ticket prices The memorandum states that films already shown in cinemas may be screened in other platforms, such as streaming apps or pay-per-view channels, only after a haul-back period of 150 days starting from the first day of exhibition, in order to maximize the movie's revenue opportunity in local cinemas. It requires a fair ratio between local and foreign movies, except when film festivals like Pit and Peliculang Filipino in September and the Metro Manila Film Festival in December are having their nationwide run. To encourage the youth to watch local movies, the memorandum has ticket prices for students, 18 years and below, at P200 in Metro Manila and P150 in the provinces every Wednesday. As this he considers a good move, Memphis Xavier Pewison, 17, said, yes, because watching movies at a lower price will give me more money for food and beverage. I also think this will encourage youngsters to watch movies at the cinema more often. Anella Randy Avaliza, 18, thought otherwise, left square graphic but right square graphic you can watch movies online for free. You don't need to go to the cinemas. Besides, not all young adults, especially the students, have time to go to the mall just to watch movies. Cindy is Tina, 17, who says he enjoys going to the cinemas with friends and family. Noted that students would be missing a lot if they don't avail left square bracket and felt right square bracket of this discount. Said Lia San Pedro, 15, the usual reason students don't watch at the cinema is the high ticket price. I believe providing a discount will definitely change the situation for us. Ron Soriaga, 14, said it has been a while since he went to the cinema. Lowering the ticket price will definitely encourage young people like me to watch movies as a form of relaxation, he said. Consultation Sino reported that consultations with producers, cinema operators and film distributors were held on March 14, and with stakeholders on April 25 at the Cinema Center in Manila. She said she was pleased that both film producers slash distributors and Cinema operators started to open up and were willing to listen to each other during the consultations in March. They used to just resort to ranting on social media, and so these concerns have never been properly addressed, she told the Inquirer. The issues raised were all answered properly on that day. The answers may not be what each party wanted, but at least they understood where the other was coming from. Allow you also observed that making the industry professional will result in casualties here and there. In tragedy support Dino agree, saying, we've resolved a lot of problems, but consequences will be likely. 
She added, the bottom line here is that, as we celebrate the 100th anniversary of Philippine cinema, we ask ourselves these questions, do we really want this industry to grow? How much support are we willing to extend to achieve this goal? Dino said the Department of the Interior and Local Government, Hill, Movie and Television Review and Classification Board, Inver, Department of Trade and Industry Export Marketing Bureau, CPI-N, and Office of the Presidential Legal Counsel and Spokesperson Supported Memorandum Circular No. 2019-01. It's good that other government agencies were there to show support, she said. It tells the people that it's not justice, that's working towards finding a solution to industry problems, that we're all working together to achieve this. Industry Link Salvador Painlo, the presidential spokesperson and chief legal counsel, represented the support extended by the Office of the President to this cause, explained Ryan and Rubia, the care chief of staff. The bill served as the industry link to local government units that distribute the money collected from amusement taxes paid by moviegoers to cinema operators in cities and municipalities. The DTI is part of our board of trustees, Rubia said. It also helps draft the guidelines in line with business and industry practices. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.